Yo, what up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, the real boss TV815. <clears throat> I'm back at it again, man. I got, uh, I have, so that's probably why y'all haven't heard much from me. But, uh, like I said, as soon as I get back, I was gonna get in uh, on this Kanika Jenkins case, get a little bit more information. Uh, proof of why I feel like she definitely didn't walk in the freezer. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just didn't happen. But first we're gonna uh we're gonna we're gonna touch on the fact that she 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 pretty much probably was drug, you know what I'm saying? And I got some footage at the end that I'm gonna show you just to let you know exactly what I mean. But first off, I wanna talk about why I feel like she, you know, never walked in that freezer. Now, if, if you ever watched, uh, the, the, now this is for people that's been following the case. If you ever watched her, whenever the parents, whenever they prepared the body for the parents to see, you know what I'm saying? When they prepared the body for the parents to see her, you can see, like, the medical examiner and all them go up in there and they do their little thing, whatever, woo, woo, woo. And every time you seen them go to that freezer from that same angle that they showed her walk towards it, which looked like she walked past it to that back room, you can see them. You can see them opening the door, standing right there, looking in. And at one point, you can see them open the door so far that you can see into the front, to the first part of the freezer and the second part. So... Why come we couldn't see that with her? How come how come we could not see that with her? That's I don't I don't I don't understand it. Why come she walked through it? It don't even show a silhouette or anything. But like when they go back there, you can definitely see somebody back there. You can see them opening up the door. You you can see you can see one dude just standing there. And, and, and another thing is, the, the same dude, man, I promise you, the same dude, the one that was handling the body, man, I, I spent probably like three hours trying to find this dude. I've seen this dude before. He was on a, uh, for Rosemont, he was on a uh, organ donating ad, like, little commercial. And I remember what he said, he said, he said I, even though you hear all these gruesome stories of what we do, we don't do nothing like that, and we... We take care of uh, other people and woo woo and all that, but I just I just couldn't find the dude no more. It's like he's off the internet, and I've seen him before many times. The dude with the glasses. Uh, I looked up the medical examiner. It's like man, I, if anybody could find any information on that dude, that'd be great if you could do that, man. But like I say, uh, if she would have walked in that freezer, we would have seen a little bit more, you know. If you pay attention to all the videos, you 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 can you would be able to tell that yeah you can see if she went in there. You can see everybody else going in there, the the police, the medical examiner, the dude that's helping the medical examiner. You can see them, same view, same camera angle. I believe she walked right past that uh, freezer, and went straight into that uh, room. Which probably somebody was in there or something, you know, fucking off, fucking around, doing something they ain't supposed to be doing and, you know, ran into to, to, ran into Shawty, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, like I say, you, you might want to check out some of my videos and, and you'll, you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. That She didn't walk into that freezer. We would have been able to see the, the, the handle is, the handle is like right there. You open it this way. So right there, that, that movement, you can see them doing it every time. You can see the uh, medical examiner, all them doing that movement. You know, they opening it up every time. And you can see it. Then the police came in there. You can see all them bunched up around it. It's like, but where's, where was she at, man? And like I said, we're going to get into this uh, video about her being drugged or whatever. Just give me a second. And, man, uh... I appreciate all the people that are showing me love and, 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 and subscribing and, and everything, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? I ought to reach my goal, man. That's that's what it is. Just keep showing that love, you know, like, subscribe, and all that. But like I say, there's no way she could have walked up in there if we wouldn't have seen any kind of, 
even if she would have just opened it up and just slid in there, we would have seen, you know, the glare and the body frame, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like if you watch every other video when somebody went over there, it's not the same. It's like, and then you wonder what happened, like, right after she walked walked in there, it's like, they, they say, allegedly walked in there, it's like they cut off uh, the video afterwards. Like, I want to see... Like when she walked in there, I want to see that still frame time still running from right there. What y'all said she walked in there? Because something happened to get her in there. That's why her feet was all cut up. Oh, and then that's how you look. This is how you know, of course, she was locked in there because if you pay attention, the little freezer that she's in was way too small for her to just walk in there thinking it's a room. She was like curled up in there. And then the little knob. The little knob that they got for it, right? The little knob, the push knob. If you pay attention, you look at it, it's blood specks around it, and the frame part of it is cracked. That means she was kicking the shit out of it. Just kicking that shit, trying to get it open. But she she must have been locked up in there so she couldn't she couldn't get out, man. You know? All of this all of this stuff is right in front of our faces, man. They, they, they really didn't even have to edit too much. They just cut some stuff out. That's what they did. Everybody looking at, oh, I think this is this and that. And, no, all they did was cut out some stuff, man. She probably heard somebody in the back over there in that room behind the freezer and was like trying to go over there for some help or, you know, whatever. And then it, it just turned bad. But like I say, man, this is uh, Boss TV, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get into that audio. I'm going to play it back for you a couple times, you know, let y'all let hear it. And uh, y'all go ahead, subscribe in, in the comments. Don't be scared to comment, man. Let me know what you think about, you know, what I'm saying, because I'll go even deeper to debunk, debunk some stuff. I ain't playing. I've been following the case for a long time. You know, it's a lot of things. I don't want to make the video too long, but, you know, it's a lot of different weird things that happen. But just give me a second, and I'm going to go ahead and pull that audio up for you. That video, actually. Right now, on this part, you just got to keep paying attention and look in the back. She's going to say, what is this? And she's going to throw her drink down. And she's going to be like, no, what is this? And one of her friends like, it's your drink. But I'm going to keep playing it just so y'all can hear it. Check it out. <laughs> One more time. Yo, man, it's the Real Boss TV. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, and holla at your boy. I'm out of here.